graph and solve a compound inequality with the word and. Graph and solve a compound inequality with the word or. Example one, translate the verbal phrase into an inequality, then graph the inequality. All real numbers, or we can call that x, that are greater than or equal to negative one and less than two. So this is a compound inequality with the word and. So go ahead and write the two inequalities and graph them. So x is greater than or equal to negative one and x is less than two. When we have compound inequalities with the word and in it, the solution set has to be true for both inequalities. So we are going to be graphing our solution as the intersection. So x is greater than or equal to negative 1 would be a solid dot going to the right. And x is less than 2 would be an open dot going to the left. And the intersection of these two segments, arrays, would be a solid dot at negative 1 through an open dot at 2. Another way to represent this algebraically as an inequality would be to look at my graph and start from the left and take the lowest number. And it's a solid number, so it's less than or equal to solid dot x to the upper number, which is 2. It's open, so it doesn't have an equal to symbol. Number two, solve the inequality and graph your solution. Negative five is greater than or equal to y minus eight, which is greater than or equal to negative seven. So these, this again is an and statement. Instead of writing the two inequalities separately, we've combined them. So let's look at this. The first inequality I have to solve is negative five is greater than or equal to y minus eight. The second inequality is y minus 8 is greater than or equal to negative 7. 1, 2. So to solve the first one, we would add 8 to both sides. And to solve the second one, we would add 8 to both sides. So instead of put it, take um, doing these separately, we can combine them. And we can add 8. If we're doing the left, we'd add 8 to the middle and 8 to the left. If we're doing the one on the right, we'd add 8 to the middle and 8 to the right. So that would be, we look in here and we're trying to get y by itself, for, so we're going to add 8 to the left, to the middle, and to the right. Which leaves me with 3 is greater than or equal to y, which is greater than or equal to 1. So when I graph this, I'm going to go from least to greatest. So I'm going to rewrite this so it can match my graph. I'm going to write 1 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 3. So then that makes it easy for me to graph. 1, and I'm going to have a solid dot, <clears throat> and 3 with a solid dot, and there is my solution set. Example 3, translate the verbal phrase into an inequality, then graph the inequality. All real numbers, which we can just call x, that are less than negative 4, or all real numbers that are greater than negative 1. So go ahead and write those inequalities and graph them. And this is an OR statement. This is an OR statement. So our solution set just has to be a number that is true for either one or the other, not both. Not the intersection, it just has to be true for one or the other.
Okay, example four, here's another uh, example of an or statement. Solve the inequality and graph your solution. So what you would do here is you would solve 3h plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 5, graph it, and then you'd solve 2h minus 5 greater than 7 and graph it. We don't need the intersection because it's an or statement.